Today we shall see how to validate a email address by asking the user to click on the unique URL that we send to his email. So let's first see the database part of it. We shall create a database called email, a table called login. with the fields we will take some minimum fields like name password email address and maybe one more field like phone number let's take of course email id is the primary key something using which we can uniquely identify that user that's it uh, one more field is we shall take a random number and let's see if the user has been activated or not so these are the fields in our database let's see it name password email phone number random number and act act will be 0 or 1 0 means the user has not been has not activated his email id by clicking the unique url one means the user has activated his email address let's write database details in one file and include it inside all the files which require database access here we use simple procedural methods localhost now login and password it is root and there is no password for my localhost check it with your hosting provider to see the actual credentials now the database detail email is the name of the database that's it we are not seeing the error parts here for that please look at the login page tutorial on our website technotip.com in index.html we just give the links to registration and login this is registration form we shall keep post method here so make sure the orders won't be missed here actually we can manage it here it's not a problem while inside the php file to which we send these data that is the action field there we need to follow the order here we shall just write the input fields inside the table I'll copy and paste this to make it quicker password For each input, we need to give a unique name. Please remember these unique names as we will be using it inside another file to retrieve the values 
entered by the user while registration so that's it a random number will be randomly generated ACT activated or not will be decided by the database depending on whether the user clicked on the link sent to his email ID or not so this input is submit button let me give it a value called registration to make it look more meaningful let's see how the form looks on a browser this is the one we just re just designed now we need to write reg.php file include the database file make sure you don't miss out with the names given to input tags that is n p email p h n the method we have used in the form is post and not get observe the name let me make it n p simply for the sake of remembrance and ph pn okay this is p this one is email this one is phn let me md5 encrypt the password So next step is to write the SQL statement in order to insert it inside the database. Make sure the orders are same, first name, password, email, phone number, random number and ACT. Email, next is phone that is $PH next random number let's calculate the random number randomly and store it inside a variable called dollar r n d r a n d is a function inbuilt function and it requires two parameters which is to specify the random numbers range now in, in the initial stage the ACT should be zero that is the user has not yet activated his email ID by clicking on it by clicking on the unique URL that we will be sending to him execute the query now check if it has successfully executed or not if it has then tell the message please activate your account by logging into your email ID else maybe registration failed please try again after some time hope you have seen these kind of messages in some standard applications now you can build it in your own applications Now the login.php 